Hi, my name's Ben Squires. I'm the head professional here at Royal Lytham and St Anne's Golf Club. Now what I'd like to talk to you about today is the impact I feel the modern golf ball has had on golf and the way that we actually have to transfer our club head speed into ball speed. Now everybody gets obsessed with club head speed and tries to swing the club as fast as they can, but really the only thing that matters in terms of distance is your ball speed and how efficient you are at transferring your club head speed into ball speed. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to hit a shot where I'm going to swing the club nice and quick, but I'm not going to transfer my energy correctly into the ball speed and we'll actually have a look at the numbers and see what happens. So. So if we have a look at the numbers now, what you'll see is that my club head speed was 92.2 miles an hour and my ball speed was 112 miles an hour. Now the real number to look at here is my efficiency. Now this is how good I am at transferring my club head speed into ball speed. Now we all know the legal limit for a driver is 1.5. Now with an iron we're obviously not going to get that because we don't have the spring-like effect that we do with a driver. So with an iron we really want to be over 1.3 you know, edging our way up to 1.4. So you can see here, because I haven't compressed the ball and transferred my club head speed that efficiently, my, therefore my carry is down and my total yards are down. Now, what I've got here is a cutout of Callaway's new Chrome Soft Ball. And you'll notice that it's completely solid. Even the softest compression balls now do in fact have completely solid cores. Gone are the days when we used to have a liquid center with sort of all elastic bands wrapped around it. So what we have to do with these modern golf balls is we have to compress them. And that's why you'll notice with all good players, players that hit the ball a long way, as they strike the ball, most of their body weight is all on their left side. Because what we're trying to do is transfer that club head speed squash the golf ball so we drive that energy to the core of the golf ball and that then transfers to ball speed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit another shot for you. And what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to make my normal golf swing but I'm going to ensure as I swing through I'm going to drive the weight onto the ball of my left foot, not my heel, we don't want to be pulling the shot. I'm going to drive the ball onto the ball of my left foot and make sure as I hit it I'm in this position so I can drive that club head through the golf ball and make sure I transfer as much of that club head speed into ball speed. So let's see what happens. So what you'll notice now, just to prove my point, I've actually slightly reduced my club head speed, but my efficiency has gone up to 1.35 which in turn has had a better effect on my ball speed. And so my carry distance has now gone up to 178 yards and my total to 181. So what I've done there is try to prove the point that it's not about how fast you can swing the club head. I've deliberately slightly slowed my club head speed down there, but because I've compressed the golf ball, I've made sure as I've hit it, my weight is on the ball of my left foot so I can transfer that energy more efficiently, my ball speed has gone up. So it might be worth maybe thinking about, instead of trying to get out there and swing the club as fast as you can, actually go to a studio that has something similar to this and actually get your efficiency recorded and actually have a look. Because you might find you're swinging the club perfectly fast enough, but you're not actually that efficient at transferring that energy into ball speed. And so if you can maybe address that with a PGA Pro or somebody you feel that you can help you with your game, you'll probably find out on the golf course your ball speed will go up, therefore your carry distances will go up and you can make that golf course play shorter. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video today and you found it informative. Please do follow our social media pages where myself and my colleagues will be posting regular things that we feel can help your golf and more importantly, help you enjoy the game that we all love.